If you have some information you'd like to share with your audience when you come to a slide and you can't or you don't want to put it on the slide, like it's something you'd rather read from or a task to do in which you want a reminder to do it when you get to a certain slide, like here I'm on slide two, and when I get to this slide, I want to hand out some ghost keychains. You know, it's got our website on it, so when they're opening up their house, unlocking it, and they get spooked, hey, they got the keys right there. They can run away from the haunted house, but they're taking their keys with them. So they can check us out so we can come and investigate. Sounds pretty cool. In any case, what you can use is what's called notes. And the notes are found down at the bottom in the normal view of your main working area. Right there, notes. And they're also known as speaker notes because what you can do is you can print these off. So when you print off all of these, these speaker notes, notes for each slide, each page is going to have up at the top of it the picture of the slide, like slide two will have the picture of it here, and then down below all the notes that I type in. So here we've got our notes that you can click in and add some notes that you can read or maybe a to-do thing, like hand out ghost keychains, whatever you like when you get to this slide. And I assume that maybe you're projecting this up on the wall through a projector from off your computer that you can go ahead and say, oh, it's on our website, and then look at the page that has the picture of this, the slide, up at the top on our website, and then down below, you know, read your notes. But right here, it's in the normal view. It's right below there. And so I've got that on slide two. Slide three, type in any notes. Slide four, when I print this off, when I get to it, I can read the old three-phase development process followed in the last year, proven to be an expensive and time-consuming process. Oh, well. Slide five, okay. When you get to a slide that doesn't have any notes, it'll give you the prompt text. It says click to add notes, and that's not going to print off. It's just prompt. So when you click on it, then it disappears, and you can go ahead and type in any notes as much as you'd like, except you got just one line here. When you get to the line, it won't stop. It just only shows one line at a time. So if you have paragraphs of text that you're typing in, this can be annoying because if you're like me, and you're reading this line, and you hit enter and type in a new line, you're like, oh, did I include that in the previous line? Well, you'd have to scroll up in this teeny tiny little window here. So instead, we can go to the notes pages, and there it'll show us what it's really going to look like when we print it off. It'll have a picture of a slide, and then below that all the notes, but not in a one-line viewing format. It'll show us multiple lines. It'll show us a big text box. In fact, let's go to it right now. Come up here, click on the View tab. Go to the Presentation Views group, and, well, that's the normal view that we're in right now, where we can see the notes down below. And you can see in the icon, we've got the thumbnail preview on the left-hand side, the big main working area, and then below that, that empty box there, well, that's supposed to be the notes. In any case, we want to go to the Notes page. And you can see in the pop-up, it says, see how your presentation will look when printed out with notes. Each page will contain one slide and its speaker notes. And again, it says notes page, but typically it's used as speaker notes. So if you want to go ahead and reference this during the presentation, notes that you don't want to put up here on the slide for everybody else to see, they're going to be just for you. So click on notes page and, okay, can't see the entire page. And what page am I on? Down below in the status bar, I'm on slide five of nine, or notes, which includes the slide and the notes down below. And then over here, when you click and hold down that scrolly bar, it gives you a pop-up and says you're on Notes 5 of 9, Ghost Hunters. Let's go up to slide 2 of 9 on our website, let go. And it's where we hand out ghost keychains. Okay, still can't see the top and the bottom, so down below you do have your slide e bar. You can click and drag to zoom in or out. But to see the entire page, go ahead and click on that last icon there, Fit Slide to Current Window, click on it. And that's what it's going to look like when you print these notes pages out. So it gives you a picture of your slide and then the notes down below. So when you have, I've got a total of nine, I print off nine pages, and I go to slide two, I'll look up on the wall where I'm projecting this up on, this slide here, and go, oh, on our website, and then go to this page, and then start reading my notes. And I can't see it, but remember, we're at, right here, 53%. Okay, let me move my mouse out of the way. 53% of 100%. And so if you want to go ahead and zoom in, and, oh, we just keep, uh, okay, it snapped to 100%, but if you can't get to 100%, you can click on 100% and get more persnickety and actually type it in here or select 100% there and click okie dokie and there you go. So at 100%, when this is printed out, these notes pages, that's what it's going to look like and that looks legible to me, but if you're like, okay, I'd like larger size font here, go ahead and click in it and you get a text box. That's all it is. So you can go ahead and type in some extra notes, extra. 
and it, of course it will show up when you're in the normal view because what you do in the normal view will show up here what you type in the text box here will show up in the normal view and so let's go ahead and select that and in the mini formatting toolbar click and resize this to size 28 you can change the colors of it make it bold and beautiful and so at 100 percent that's going to be quite legible and of course you got your resizing handles not just for the text box here but let me go ahead and fit this to current window but also for the image so if you want this slide image to be bigger go ahead and you can move it around reposition it click here hover over the border click and drag that down and you've got your rotating handle you can tilt it well let's not go too far in any case my excitement I get carried away let's click off so that's what you can do in the notes page view and then to go ahead and print these off well you can come up here click on the file tab go down to print and the default print is going to be the full page of your slides so we want to include the notes go ahead and click on it come up here there's the layout full page slides we want notes pages select it and there we go and you can see I'm on slide two of nine and we've got our large text and that's at 51 percent of normal size so if I click and drag and zoom that to hundred percent and then I scroll over and I go down that's what's going to look like when I print it off that's really legible so let's go ahead and go to slide three and that's what's going to look like I guess it's okay but you know if you're in a dark room and you have little to no light that might be a little bit too hard to see and speaking of which when you're down here you can also type in the notes page you want to go to or slide hit enter and it jumps right to it so you can use the arrows or type in a number and then let's come over here and zoom to page so we can see it in its entirety the slide with the notes down below and so that's on slide two we typed in extra so if I go back and I go to the normal view and slide two there you go so what you type in the notes pages view also shows here and in the normal goes to the notes page view as well okay one final thing that I want you to know before we end the video is that you don't have to print off your speaker notes you can actually have them up during your presentation without anybody else seeing them how does that work I'm glad you asked let's come up here and click on the slideshow tab and go to the monitors group and it's right there use presenter view you can see when I hover over it the pop-up says the presenter view shows the full screen slide on one monitor and a speaker view on another monitor showing a preview of the next slide your speaker notes a timer and more so that way you can read all your stuff in fact even play solitaire and they won't even see what you're doing probably not a good idea but you know to keep it more professional or when you want to be able to read your speaker notes without having to print them off and you don't want to use a lot of paper just go ahead if you got another monitor or a projector through that you're projecting up that can act as that second monitor then use the presenter view and this is how it works I've got my primary monitor here so what you need to do when it says monitor is as you can see in the pop-up which monitor do you want to show your presentation on because it says presenter view that doesn't mean that this is the presenter this is the actual presentation so my primary monitor is what you're seeing here I have a second monitor over to the left hand side and when I click on it it's called monitor well there's the name of it so which monitor do I want my presentation to be on I'll say the primary so my presenter view is not going to be on this one that you see is going to be on the other monitor so when I go ahead and make sure that it's checked to use the presenter view and I go to the slideshow tab and on the slideshow tab the same tab come over here to start the slideshow from the beginning okay there's my presentation that's not the presenter view so I can just click and this is what you're seeing but on my other monitor I see something different I know you're dying to see it so fine let's go ahead and hit the escape key and let's switch this to say the main presentation is going to be on my other monitor and then the presenter view is going to be on the primary here so when I come up here and click on from beginning hey looky there okay this is how it works oh I get that annoying timer it's like I'm wasting a lot of time I just keep seeing the seconds tick away well it's actually showing you how much time you're taking on each slide I'm gonna pause that I don't want to see that and then the current time so here's the slide that everybody else is seeing on the other monitor or if you're projecting this up on a screen up on the projector there and so you can see over here in the task pane you got the next slide now the notes is not for the next slide it's for the current slide so that's what I'm talking about you don't have to print off your speaker notes 
Let's go to the next slide by clicking on it, and there we go, slide to our website. And at this point, we hand out ghost keychains. Now again, nobody else can see this. They're just getting what you just saw before I went to the presenter view here, this main view here. That's it. And this is fun because I can do a lot of things in here. I can play around. I can minimize this down to the taskbar. I can play solitaire, and it won't project it. Isn't that cool? In any case, if you want to learn more about this, I recommend that you watch my training video on slideshow setup. And in that, I'll have my presenter view as well. And to not leave you hanging, if your text here is too large and you want to fit more because you have more down below, you can use these. Shrink it up or go ahead and click on it several times to make it huge. And then when you're done, you can, of course, click on end slideshow or just close out of the presenter viewer altogether. And we're back. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.